a bill titled to direct the Secretary of Agriculture to establish a grocery, farm, and food worker stabilization grant program was introduced by Ohio Senator Sherrod Brown on December 12, 2023. This bill established a grant program to provide stable income payments to farmers, meat processors, and grocery workers in the event of natural disasters. These workers must be part of an organization that is deemed eligible by the Secretary of Agriculture. The bill also requires a report to be made to Congress within four years of the bill passing that details the outcomes and impacts of the grant program. $50 million is to be provided for the grant program that will be available until it is all spent. Primary impact, supply chains, as we saw during the early months and following years of COVID, are very fragile if disrupted on mass scale. Possibly the worst supply chain to have disrupted is our food supply, as it can easily lead to starvation in remote areas, and incredibly high prices in every area. Another impact, which is addressed by this bill, is the loss of revenue and wages by workers along that supply chain. If farmers lose their crops to natural disasters, they don't make any money, grocery store workers have nothing to sell, and meat processors, and other processors for that matter, have nothing to process. This forced unemployment leaves many destitute and the economy unstimulated with fresh income to circulate around the nation. This bill will soften that wage and income effect, but not the shortage of supply issue. Secondary impact, government intervention causes inflation. The introduction of unearned money decreases the competition required to optimize an economy, including welfare to individuals, but especially welfare to businesses. If a store, a farm, or a meat plant are not accountable for the shortcomings of unpreparedness or inability to recover from disasters that are part of the industry, they will naturally be weeded out, leaving more resources to be spent on better more effective businesses. If the government intervenes and allows these companies to maintain their status quo, they will carry on without the need to be competitive, making other companies that don't get that support suffer more and lose more trying to keep up. This loss of competitive stance usually results in increased prices since the helped company no longer needs to worry about as much operating cost to make the same profit, and the other companies increasing their prices just to stay afloat in competition with them. Tertiary Impact Taxpayers always pay the bill for government programs, not that it's always a bad thing. They need to be paid by someone and the masses are a good source. The $50 million that is given to this program will come from those tax dollars, either as increased taxes or decreased spending on other programs or government entities.